Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited to be here in Toronto with my friend Annie. Hi guys. So she started Simply Suzette, which is a business based off of sustainable denim. So I'm really excited to be asking her some questions. And one thing I was really interested in, because you guys know that I'm all about like chemicals and skin, is the chemicals that they use in clothes. And I always think about like the supplements I, you know, put it in jazz and the food I eat and the skincare I put on, but it's like, what about the clothes that's mm -hmm. rubbing on your skin all day that's on your body? Mm -hmm. So I thought that would be really cool to ask Annie while we have her here. So I'm really excited. So the first thing I guess I want to ask you is tell me a little bit more about your business, about sustainable denim. Okay, so basically why I started Simply Suzette was because I found that there were no nice sustainable denim brands out there or there's, there was yeah. this negative connotation with it. Like when you think sustainable, you thought ugly. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's true. Honest. I always do too. Yeah, like, I'm not the like fashion mogul or yeah, anything. Yeah, but like me either. But yeah. when I found out, I was doing a fashion management program. And that's when I found okay. out how bad denim yeah. was in specific was to produce. I don't know. If you all know, but it takes 2,000 yeah. gallons of water to produce one pair of jeans traditionally, which is wow. insane and completely insane. exhausted. Yeah. And that's before all the chemicals and whatnot go into yeah. dyeing it and everything too. So that's crazy. that was the reason I wanted to start something so that was just create awareness that yeah. there is denim that is doing good for the planet and also the people making it that looks and feels like designer denim still. So that's awesome. And I know a lot of your jeans are also, you thrift them, I believe. Like I do vintage, vintage denim vintage, yeah. too, just because I love vintage denim in my yeah. opinion. That's the most sustainable way to shop. Yeah. You're not producing anything. I love so. vintage denim. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few pairs. Yeah, she has her eyes. <laughs> I have my I'm eyes so on more. Right very cool so what are actually i want to ask another question about um just vintage denim is mm -hmm. how do you find the vintage pairs like i've always oh, it's hard honestly yeah. like at the thrift stores now okay well i'm not going every week yeah. also yeah I, I know people that find like they'll find like their perfect fitting levi's yeah but they're going yeah. like twice a week you know yeah. but i'll go once a month probably okay, and not find a bunch and i generally find the really large sizes mm -hmm. like size 40 and like whatnot and like my customer yeah. doesn't buy that right exactly, exactly um but how i find it is i generally go to the men's section they do have like okay. it, even though it says 32 on the tag it like oh, after a while shrinkage and whatnot it's like yeah. 32 it will fit like a 29. so good to know. Good to know. men's it's section in the thrift store people okay mm -hmm. yeah. very cool so tell me a little bit more about sustainability. What really, I guess, got you into this business and what your goals are with it? Yeah, what got me into it, honestly, was the ethical side of it yeah. first. I was just, I wanted to stop supporting like slave labor and whatnot. So that's when I started yeah. looking into more ethical brands okay. and that kind of naturally led into sustainability for me because I don't know, I kept reading these insane quotes like there are enough yeah. clothes in the world right now that we would never have to produce anything ever again. Yeah, I have actually been reading that too. Yeah, like, so even when you go to thrift stores, there's so much Yeah, there much is so stuff. much and like it's all a lot of Zara in yeah. the thrift stores nowadays. Yeah. There's too, a lot of so brand like, names like Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, yeah, like you can even, Fine. yeah, like people probably wear their Zara shirt once and then don't yeah. get it. So like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. but sustainability to me does mean being more mindful and aware of things like no right. one's perfect yet yeah like, the, the closest that we've come in jeans is it's called cradle yeah. to cradle and basically you're the gene is 98 percent recyclable okay so That's it's not amazing. only made of recycled materials it's also recyclable yeah. and not it's not going to sit in a landfill and just like exactly no, you're just sit there because it's like you think about oh i'm buying new clothes and then when you get rid of it or it doesn't fit you or you just don't like it where is it going right exactly what are you doing with it? Actually, another question that I wanted to ask you too is how is denim made? Like, where does denim come from? Denim? Um, actually, I have a yeah. demonstration here. Oh, but it start cool. honestly, denim, the, the base of it is cotton. Right. Over the years, like, the unsustainable production methods have introduced, like, polyester and yeah. lycra in it and whatnot to give you that stretch. Right. Um, but it does start with cotton. Okay. So, and to be sustainable now, you want to source ethically sourced, of course, yeah. and organic yeah. cotton because it takes less water to use than traditional cotton. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, that's so cool. that's why people are now using. Yeah. Like, have you heard of the Better Cotton Initiative? No. Okay, so that yeah, yeah, 
Well, the Better Cop Initiative. It's learning like new things. People that have this sort of there are a bunch of certifications out there though, yeah. like this is just one of them. That means the cotton is ethical, ethical and organic basically. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's the first step. Then once you have the cotton, it has to be spun into yarn. Right. And then good denim, I think yeah. it's first yarn dyed. So the okay. yarn is dyed before you actually weave the fabric. Okay. Um, so yeah, then you weave the fabric, that's what the deck this is like yeah the jeans like, yeah yeah jean fabric so it must take a lot of would it take a lot more cotton than say like a cotton shirt because it's yeah. denim thick right yeah. yeah yeah it depends there are different weights of denim yeah. like they're actually they made the lightest denim in the world i think it's like 0.3 ounces oh, or something okay. so this is she's just showing me actually the lightest weight of denim i mean it'll come up and yeah, show and show like see how it and then like look how light it is like like seeing I'm just fair, can you see my face? Yeah, yeah it's like pretty. And so this is the thickest. The yeah, thickest. this is the yeah. thickest one. Yeah. See how thick that is. Yeah. But yeah, so it's like it's different weights, so it depends, but yeah. generally so like how much you need. Yeah. The other thing you were saying was about being more mindful of yeah, what mindful. you were and that really struck out to me because it's something that I'm trying to do in I guess every area of my life. And one area I was never really thinking about was clothing. Like I always went through shopping and tried to save money. It was mainly to save money and I always found I could find better quality things yeah. at thrift stores. And then when you really think about it, and this is actually gonna bring me into my question about the chemicals in clothing, is there are a lot of chemicals used not only to like dye the clothing, mm -hmm. uh, to dye the yeah. material to make yeah. the clothing, but also in transport. So a lot of clothes from China, and I was reading about this, just doing some research online, but I was finding that they use different chemicals like formaldehyde and uh, phylates, which disrupt your hormones. And I mean, we all know formaldehyde to go back to that one, it's used to embalm dead people. Yes. It's like a really toxic <laughs> chemical and they use it to prevent mold when they transport the clothes. So I want to ask you a bit about that and yeah. do your clothes, I guess, avoid those chemicals? Yeah. To on, on all of the brands I have, like other than the vintage stuff, they yeah. probably did do some of that before back yeah. in the day, yeah. but there are no harsh chemicals that go in yeah. into any of the jeans. And my favorite brands actually use vintage denim okay. to make their pieces, yeah. like the Evie denim yeah. that I carry and then I brought on this new brand called Toko Nikonu. Yes, uh, they're really cool really, too. Really cool but stuff. yeah, so like using old or like old pieces that have already been made and making something new is like yeah. my favorite. And That's that there's awesome. no chemicals. Yeah, the and wash processes, which but. is great too. Like mm -hmm. you're saying, is even when you thrift, it the clothes may have been treated, and you know probably most of them have been, but over time they've already off gassed, yeah. sadly on other people's yeah. bodies. But, but when you're buying it, it's you know it won't it's have those chemicals. Yeah, it's a lot better for you. Yeah. So that's just one thing to think about is what you're putting on, and yeah, there's one story we were talking about and in this boy they did it i can't remember where the study was done but a boy was wearing flame retardant pajamas yeah. and they found that chemical in his urine two weeks later which is yeah like that so it's yeah. crazy and i was even saying that they found it in women's breast milk like when they're feeding the babies which obviously gets transferred into another person and it's just crazy and another thing too is like you bring up flame retardants so that's a big thing that can go in the body and with these chemicals they imbalance your body too so it causes you know hormone imbalance and all these other things and it's not just oh it's some chemicals I didn't know that, yeah. and it's like okay i only use shelby stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i've been like only using natural beauty products for like probably two years that's now. awesome yeah but people don't and people want to use natural products yeah. for their face but like your skin is all over your so skin is all over your, your, like it's it's everywhere like these chemicals it's so true everywhere. and even i think back to when i was a teenager like i would go to hollister and yeah. <laughs> abercrombie yeah. and buy all these clothes and it was big and just even like walking in there like you could smell the cologne oh, and like the, i would just wear the clothes not even wash them so and uh, not to say that i don't go to the mall and buy new clothes because i do still mm -hmm. but i'll make sure that i at least wash it one or two times before i actually wear it or i'll wear like a shirt like let's say i buy a sweater under a sweater for a little while just so it can kind of off gas and not go into my skin that's smart so just some tips if you guys are still want to go to the yeah. mall or still want to shop um, yeah. yeah so now i thought it'd be really cool to show you guys some styles so this is one of my go-to, actually it's pretty much my uniform. I'm always in a vintage tee, 
and straight leg, like slim leg jeans. Not I don't wear skinnies anymore, to be honest, just because I like having a little room in the butt and the hips. <laughs> yeah, I like and, those. Yeah, but literally every day, just a vintage tee and straight leg jeans, and you have pretty much a no brainer outfit that you can go to all the time. Also, to spice it up a little bit, you could add just like a button down over top. My second uniform is, to be honest, just a button down, like usually tucked in at the front, like so actually. And then, but also you could do the second outfit out of that and do combine them both. And yeah. So usually what I wear is, it's just a simple white tee with denim. So I'm wearing some white denim now. And I'll throw on like a jean jacket over top like I had. This one is a super cool find that I got. But yeah, I'll just wear a white tee, some comfy denim. This is my everyday look, super easy. And some days I will throw over a sweater. Some days, meaning like lately here in Canada, it's been minus 20. <laughs> thousand and I'll just throw this on kind of tuck it in a little bit in the front and be super warm I just like comfort so for me it has to be super comfy and I do like a bit of a looser fit I like the looser cut at the end so it's nice and open and another look I love to do is just throwing on a blouse and I usually will dress it up with a blazer or leave it on its own. You can even leave it unbuttoned too. I'll probably not do all white like this. I might even do that because it looks good. <laughs> and yeah, roll button it up and kind of tuck it in the front. Pair it with some nice blue denim, some vintage denim that I'm going to buy from Annie after this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to check out Annie's site. She has some pretty cool, unique jeans on there that I am actually gonna check out right <laughs> after we finish filming this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>